Hello and welcome to Dear Parents from Your Child's Loving Teacher. My name is Donna Arias. I'm the teacher librarian. And I'm also um, the author of Dear Parents from Your Child's Loving Teacher. I wanted to talk to you about stress and how we deal with it. Right now we are all living very difficult times and yes, they're definitely stressful. There's no question about that. Um, I think that all of us feel that energy. Yet the way we choose to deal with this stress is going to be the biggest teacher for our children. Um, sometimes it's not what we say, but it is what we do. So, for example, if I see that I'm getting stressed out, you know, I'm starting to stress as I look at the numbers and the things going on in the news, do I just say, you know, I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to go do something else that makes my, you know, my heart feel better? And that language might sound funny because, like, why would I say it makes my heart feel better? Well, because your children are listening. Your children are listening to what you do and what you say. And if you turn it off and go do something like maybe breathing or, you know, let's go play for a little bit or let's go do something else because this is causing stress to me, you're actually doing two things. And these are very important. The first one is that you're identifying your feelings. And by you identifying your feelings, you're teaching your child to identify his or her feelings. That's huge. And the other thing is that you are showing your child that you're not going to run away with those feelings, but that instead you are going to stay grounded by maybe choosing to breathe, maybe choosing to turn off the TV, maybe choosing to, you know, go read, maybe just choosing to hang out. Um, but whatever the decision is, you are giving your child two very valuable lessons. So I invite you to think about this and to discuss with your child. You know, it, it's valid. It's very valid to say to your child, I'm, I'm stressed right now and I'm not sure how I'm feeling inside my body. I need to go sit down and think about this. Or I just need to go feel and allow yourself to close your eyes and feel what you're feeling. Give it a name and talk it out with your children. They'll understand you will have such wonderful, wonderful lessons for them. So I really, really, really hope that you do this and that this you know, video um, helps you. Um, I know that I've done this with my daughter for many, many years. I'm somebody that's very emotional. And doing this has given her a vocabulary and a knowledge of who she is and understand that everything she does or feels is valid, that there's no unvalid feelings. But it's not that the feeling might be invalid. It is what you do with it that's important. And that's where the true lesson is. And who better to show your children how to do that? So I invite you to go ahead and give your children these wonderful lessons because I know you're going through a lot. Thank you.